Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of disintegration kind of look effect in Blender easily. So actually I learned this technique by seeing an awesome video created by Dylan Neal. Sorry if I pronounced that name wrongly. So first of all I recommend you guys to check that video, it will be very useful. So I'll leave a link in the description for that video so that you guys can watch that and learn so much from that video. So in this video I will be using the same technique and if you like this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description okay. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 2.93 nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all let's import our 3D model. So here I got this model from Sketchfab. Download link in the description if you want to use the same. So go to this file, import, it is an object file. So select this wavefront obj. So now let me select this model and import. So here you can see we got our model here. So let me reduce the scaling. So press S and reduce the scaling here a bit. And let me apply this scale transforms here. Okay. So now select this model. Press shift plus D to duplicate it. Okay. So that we will get two models. So let me rename this as inner and let me rename this as outer. So first of all we need to make this outer model bigger than this inner model. So for that we will be using displace modifier. So select this outer model, come to this modifier properties, add modifier and add displace. So let's move this value here, I think 0.98 is enough. So now this outer model is bigger than this inner model. Okay. So now we need to add particle system before that. Let me hide out this inner. Okay. So throughout this video, we will be working on this outer model only. So select this outer. Let's add particles onto that. So come to this particle system and add particles. Okay. So now if I play this, you can see particles are getting emitted from this model. So here I want all the particles to be emitting at the starting frame only. So I will change this end frame to one so that we'll get all the particles here and also I will reduce the particle counts to 15 so 15 is enough so if you want more number of particles you can increase the count so my lab can handle only few particle counts so I'll be reducing this count here okay and lifetime let me make it 250 as this time length is of 250 frames okay so now if I play this you can see all the particles will be falling down so we need to get rid of that physics property so come to this physics and physics type change it to none. So now if I play this, you can see the particles will stay there only. Okay. So now again, come to this modifier options. Okay. Let me enable this extra vision. Now we need to make this or break this model into small pieces. For this, we will be using explode modifier. So add modifier, add explode. So as soon as I add explode, you can see we got some cuts here. Okay. So scroll down in export modifier enable this cut edges so that we will get these pieces separately okay so now we need to add cloth property onto these pieces so being selected this outer model come to this physics property add cloth okay so now if i play this you can see the cloth will be falling down so as we have applied cloth onto this model now it is converted into cloth okay so here you can see this is falling down so we need to get rid of gravity. So come to this field weights and gravity make it zero. Nice. So now gravity will not act on these particles. These particles will stay in their position until an external force is acted on them. So here we will use an external force force field. So let me go to this add force field and let me add wind here. So press S and increase the scaling and let me place this force field side and let me rotate this one here like this and let me increase the strength to 250 so this value we need to check manually so i think 250 is enough for this so let me play this once again you can see this force is getting acted on the particles so if you want to have much force we can increase the strength so I will leave this to 250 only or else let me change this to. So now let's add a turbulence field. So go to this add once again, force field, add turbulence. This add some turbulence in the wind. So let me increase the scaling and also let me increase the strength to 300 this as well. Okay. So or else let's do one thing. So I don't want this 
both wind and turbulence effect will be acting from the starting frame so i will move on to this 30 frames forward in timeline and let me make this strength one here for both the properties okay so now let me add a keyframe for the strength here just click on the button to add a keyframe and let me select this turbulence also and let me add a keyframe here so now let me move i think two frames is enough so after two frames i want this strength of this both force field to be more so let me select this field and let me change the strength to 300 and let me add a keyframe here just click on that to add a keyframe now select this turbulence field and let me change this turbulence field to 300 as well and add a keyframe okay so till 30th frame there will not be any force acting here so after 30th frame we will get a sudden force of this wind and this turbulence okay so now if i play this we can see till 30th frame we won't have that force field acting on that after 30th frame we will be having that force field acting on this model okay so now if i bring this inner model here you can see these pieces will be going through the inner model so we need to add collision property for this inner model so select that inner model come to this physics property add collision here okay so now let me move back and also let's add some material here only so let's move on to this material report so let me select this outer one first so for this outer one i will add a chrome material so come to this material properties let me add base color here let me make it metallic okay and let me reduce the roughness here okay nice so now let me hide out this outer one and let me add another material onto this inner so select this inner come to this material properties let me delete this material so delete this material add a new material let me make it a gold look so let me bring it yellow let me bring it a metallic look here and let me reduce this okay so now we got materials on both this inner and outer model so here the chrome material will be disintegrating to reveal this gold statue nice so make sure this collision property is added to this inner material so if you want to add a ground plane we can add it so go to this add mesh select a plane here so let me increase the scaling so for this ground plane also we need to add collision property so select this ground plane add collision property and let me add a material for this also so for this i will be making this a chrome look only so let me give it a metallic look and reduce the roughness here nice okay nice so once everything is done now select this outer one come to this physics property come to this cache options expand this cache options here we will be having this starting and end frame so here i will leave this simulation to be of 250 frames if you want to reduce or increase you can reduce or increase here so i will leave this to 250 frames only so after everything is done just click on this bake button so in this way we can create this kind of cool looking disintegration kind of effects in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye